Hi there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build out your work breakdown structure within Microsoft Project. So you can see this is a pretty complex project schedule I've put together. I've used this in some of my previous examples. You can see that we have all of my different tasks. They are linked together. We have logical dependencies between the tasks. And you know we have a structure within the schedule, whether that be a selection of summary tasks and tasks, milestones, etc. What I can actually do is come in here and take a look at my outline levels and go down to level one, which kind of shows me high level, my summary tasks or phases within the project and some milestones here as well. That's the beauty of using uh, summary tasks is the fact that you can indent the task beneath them and then have different levels and I can drill in. And if there's a level below that, I go to outline level three, etc. So you can drill into your project and drill out of your project. Now, a lot of people will name their tasks 1, 1 1.2, 1 1.3. Obviously, that becomes a nightmare when you add a new task and you've got to go through and rename everything. So that's not the way to build out your work breakdown structure. In fact, Microsoft Project makes this available to you in two different ways. Let me show you. So if you go to the any Gantt chart view, this, I can go to the Gantt chart format. And in here, I can check this outline number. What this does is it pulls into the name of my task, the work breakdown structure. 1, 1.1, 1 1.2, 2, 3, 3.1, 3 3.1.1, etc. So on and so forth. So it really helps you to, when you're drilling in and out, all right, for back to level one, we can see the different phases of my project. What you will notice is that because this uh, summary task, uh, sorry, this milestone is at the same level as my summary task, it will have that same outline number level indent of indentation. So if you don't like that, what you can do is indent that particular milestone, like so. Now it becomes at the same level as level one, and that kind of goes away. So now this becomes two, three, four, etc. It's a styling preference whether you want your milestones at the same level as your summary task or outside. So you can see when it's at the same level as your summary task, you'll be able to see the milestone for that particular phase of work when you are completely zoomed out of your project schedule. Another way, right click on task name, insert column, WBS. Boom, there it is. That's the same as having it here. In, in fact, you can see it's just the prefix for exactly what you see here in the task name. So you've got two different options there. You can have the WBS displayed here, or you can have it next to the names of your tasks. Personally, I prefer it where I have a separate column for that. So I actually remove that, so I'm not duplicating. Totally up to you on which way you want to have your work breakdown structure displayed. Hope you found this useful, and please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I want to hear your comments too. Thanks so much. Have a good day.